Hey guys, this is my tutorial on how to start playing Vertex Rock. So after you've logged in, you're going to go make an account. And they're going to summon you here. So what you want to do is start, and you're going to want to make the Azara Creator your home. So once that's done, you're going to spec up, do your spec, do whatever you like. And you're just going to walk down here. You're going to find where your trainer is. Mine just happens to be right here. And you're going to train all the new skills you've learned. The cool thing about this is that right when you make an account, it automatically learns every skill for you except the ones you have to spec for. After that, you can buy your glyphs from your trainer as well. So whatever glyphs you want, done. Once that's all done, you're going to come down here and you're going to find your gear. So this is where everyone has to go. You start out with your PvP, PvE accessories, sorry. You're going to move around. There's the cloth, the leather, mail, plate, and then here are your weapons. You're going to back down here and you're going to get your PvP gear. That's all good. So once that's all done, you can actually go and buy your gems. They just come free, basically. You start out with 100,000 gold, so everything that will last you forever. All your enchants are right here as well. And when that's all done, you can actually learn your professions. I've already learned two, so I can't learn more. But basically all it is, you train it, and then right when you do one, one spell for your profession, it actually maxes it out to 450. So you don't have to do the boring grinding of finding all the materials and all that. Buy your mounts here, and your arenas here. So the cool thing about arena is when you do a 2v2 scrimmage, it'll match you up with a partner that's random, but you'll actually get arena rating for it. Now on the arena rating, the 2v2, the 3v3, and the 5v5 are all combined. They all combine into one rating, and the rating here is also affected by your PvP. So every boss you kill in an instance, which is a random dungeon, you get team rating for. And certain bosses will give you a meter rating and honor, which is used to buy higher level gear. Now, you can actually solo instances here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. You go to the random Lich King dungeon, and you go find group. Now, there's ICC instances here, but there are also TBC. So yeah, I'm just gonna find you an easy TBC instance quickly. There. It's gonna summon you to the instance, and right at the start, you're gonna notice this little goblin NPC here. He's the debuffer. So what you do to make the instance more challenging is you pick a debuff. So right when you start, if you're gonna solo, maybe do a debuff one or two. But for me, who's higher gear and has run this instance many times, I'm going to take debuff 6. So once that's done, you actually have to kill all the trash. The trash are useless, you just have to kill them. And then when you get to the boss, you kill the boss and your instance is done. At the end of the day, all this is going to flush and it's going to affect your arena, arena point, sorry. So, as you can see, there aren't many people online. Yeah, there's four people online right now. It's not the greatest time of the day, but that's what you see. All the gear here is actually in the mall. The mall is huge. I mean, you've got your starter gear back there. Then you kind of got new people gear. It costs 2k honor a piece, or 1.25, sorry. And then some arena points for some of the gear. And then down here, you've actually got 700 at the rating. So that's pretty cool. Now, when the server is actually offline, it's a cool, or not offline, sorry, when there's no one online, what I tend to do is I tend to work on achievements. I mean, I just like having achievements, so it's kind of cool. I do some of the like, exploration stuff. There's a lot of player versus player honor stuff you can do. Um, a lot of the general ones you can get right off the bat.
So I'm actually going to show you the Vertex Wow website now. Now the cool thing with this website is they've actually got a working armory. So here's the armory. You can either search up your character name or your guild. So I'm going to show you my guild. Brings up the items before anything for some reason. But here's my guild. So I can actually go into it. And it shows me all the characters that are in it. You can flip pages and it shows you your your characters or whoever's in the guild. So if I want to go to my character, my characters do. So I'll go to him. It brings me to him, shows me his spec, shows me his talent or profession, sorry. And these are really recent um, achievements I just did. I did that one about yeah half an hour ago. It shows me all my statistics, my ratings, all of that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to go back to Vertex here, and this is, I really recommend reading the intros. I, I read the long one right away, and it really helps you out right at the start. Um, I always check the changelog for day-to-day -day stuff. Your account bands, IP bands, game guide for how to play, like how to connect and stuff, it's right there. Uh, when you vote, I'm going to show you guys how to vote here, sorry, click on top votes. Log in. So to vote, you're gonna go. I'm gonna hit choose a vote. It's gonna vote for you. Then what you're gonna do after that's done, you're gonna have to find the vertex while banner. So I believe this is on. The second page. So vertex wow, well. you're gonna click on it, and now you're gonna receive your vote points. So guys, that's vertex wow. Well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in game, or just leave a comment on the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Thanks. Bye.